Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to explore the world of cauliflower with amazing snacks recipes. These dishes are not only delicious but also vegetarian, making them perfect for everyone to enjoy. So, let's get started. First up, we'll cook cauliflower shawarma. We would require one medium sized cauliflower cut into thin florets, two tablespoon olive oil, two teaspoon ground cumin, two teaspoon ground coriander, half teaspoon turmeric, half teaspoon cinnamon, salt and pepper for taste, two cloves of garlic minced, juice of one lemon squeezed, half cup plain yogurt, four flatbreads or rotis, sliced cucumbers, tomatoes and red onion for serving. And finally, we would require yogurt sauce for drizzling. It's optional. Now, we'll see the cooking instructions. Preheat your oven to 220 degrees Celsius. In a large bowl, combine olive oil, ground cumin, coriander, turmeric, cinnamon, minced garlic and lemon juice salt and pepper and mix well. Add the cauliflower florets to the bowl and toss them in the spice mixture until they are well coated. Spread the cauliflower florets evenly on a baking sheet lined with paper. Roast in the preheated oven for about 25 to 30 minutes or until the cauliflower is tender and slightly crispy at the edges. Warm the rotis in an oven for few minutes. You can even warm the rotis on a tawa. It is completely optional for you guys. To assemble, place some roasted cauliflower on the bread or the rotis. Add sliced cucumber, tomatoes and red onions. Drizzle with yogurt sauce. Fold the bread and serve your homemade cauliflower shawarma immediately. Delicious, right? Mouth-watering cauliflower shawarma that's perfect for a lunch or dinner. It really looks flavorful. You won't believe it's vegetarian. Secondly, we will have cauliflower keema. And we need one medium-sized cauliflower. 1 cup of frozen green peas, 2 large onions finely chopped, finely chopped 2 tomatoes, 2 tablespoon vegetable oil, 1 teaspoon cumin seeds, 1 inch piece of ginger minced, 4 cloves of garlic minced, 1 green chilli finely chopped and you can adjust as per your spice preference. You can even take two green chilies if you're really looking for a spicy one. Half teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, half teaspoon of cumin powder, half teaspoon of garam masala, salt for taste and coriander leaves for garnish. Now let's get into the cooking procedure. Eat the vegetable oil in a large skillet, add cumin seeds and let them splatter, add finely chopped onions and fry until they turn golden brown. Stir in minced ginger garlic and green chilli and fry them for another 2-3 to three minutes until the raw smell disappears. Add the finely chopped tomatoes and cook until they become soft and the oil gets separated. Sprinkle turmeric powder, coriander powder, cumin powder and garam masala over the tomato onion mixture. Mix well and cook for a couple of minutes. Add the cauliflower florets and frozen green pea. Stir well ensuring the cauliflower is coated with the spices. Cover 
the skillet and let the cauliflower cook on low medium heat stir occasionally to prevent sticking and it is completely your choice cook until the cauliflower is tender but not messy it should take about 15 to 20 minutes and finally season with salt and garnish with fresh coriander leaves you can serve this with roti naan or steamed rice along with the lemon wedges on the sides and there you have it our cauliflower keema a vegetarian twist on a classic indian dish that's loaded with flavors and nutrients next we'll cook cauliflower tandoori bites we require cauliflower florets tandoori masala yogurt and now we'll look into the cooking instructions preheat your oven for 425 fahrenheit that is equal to 220 degrees celsius toss the cauliflower florets with tandoori masala and yogurt and mix it well spread them on a baking sheet and roast for about 20 to 25 minutes or you can also look the consistency and look whether the cauliflower is tender and slightly charred in the blink of ice pan delicious cauliflower tandoori bites is ready which is a crowd pleaser next up we have cauliflower buffalo wings and for this we need cauliflower florets keto friendly buffalo sauce almond flour for coating and it is optional if you don't want to have almond flour you can skip this now let's dive into the cooking procedure preheat your oven for 450 degrees celsius toss cauliflower florets with buffalo sauce until they are well coated Optionally you can coat them with almond flour for extra crispiness and if it you if it is something you don't like you can skip this Spread them on a baking sheet and bake for about 20 to 25 minutes until they are crispy And our yummy cauliflower buffalo wings are ready Finally we'll cook cauliflower popcorn and for this we need cauliflower florets olive oil or you can take your choice of any oil for that matter and seasonings here i'm taking nutritional yeast and garlic powder and again the seasoning is completely optional you can choose any seasoning of your choice let's look into the cooking instructions preheat the oven for 220 degrees celsius toss the cauliflower florets with olive oil and seasoning spread them on a baking sheet and roast for 20 to 25 minutes until they are crispy and golden brown here we have our cauliflower popcorn all ready to enjoy so Hope you all enjoyed this fantastic cauliflower snack recipes as much as I did. Cauliflower is such a versatile vegetable and these dishes truly showcase its potential. If you try this recipes, don't forget to let me know how they turned out in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our Sparkling All Chemist channel for more delicious recipes. Thank you so much for watching us and see you next time. Happy cooking.